Hey guys, BJX here. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and today, I will be showing you guys how to make a plane scene that, you, like, you can do in um, what's it called, Element 3D, but instead with Cinema 4D for much cheaper. Especially because you well, not much cheaper because you have to pay for both programs. But yeah, so basically, I'm gonna make this effect. I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so that was the effect. Uh, now with this effect, what we have to do is that um, we want to we want to get your plane, put it into the scene, get a background, and then texture it and make it and render it. So first thing I'm gonna start off with, and I'm gonna first I'm gonna delete stuff. So uh huh, where's my plane at? Okay, so. I want to get, I want to keep all these because these are part of my plane. So yeah, now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna delete pretty much everything else. So then I'm just left with my plane. So I got the design for this plane off a website called TurboSquid.com. Now you can use other websites as well. Um, actually use a new website now, but um, yeah. So tur you go on TurboSquid.com and you go and you search up aircrafts and like Boeing 747. So I searched up. Um, I got .c4d instead of .obj because um, a .object file would not have like specific textures for different parts. It needs one texture for everything. But mine came for with a Cinema 4D file, and this um, is really good. It also came with a 3ds MTL as well, but I don't need those because I don't have either of those programs. Um, so, it also came with, well, I'm lucky for this, but it came with a bunch of, um, pictures of the sky, and now you can go on Google Image Search, and I'm pretty sure, let me just, put it right here, uh, sky image, see, like, I have to type one from, Google. Alright, so something like that, and you can get like this this picture, and then you generally want something that will make it look like this, kind of. Alright, so yeah, uh, like that. So, right now, I am going to come back to oh crap, no. What is this program? Oh, it's Google. Okay, so basically, with mine, uh, um, I could also choose the um, paint for it. So, I gave it a blue and orange paint color. Um, yeah. So first off, let's go into the render settings. Now, you want to save it as, you want to um, output it as a film video HDTV slash HDTV 720, uh, 29.97 frames per second, which is the NTSC standard. And you want to select that for maximum quality. You can also change it for yourself. Um, you want to go to all frames because you don't want just one picture of it. Um, save. We're gonna, I'm gonna save it under my desktop, but you have to change it to either a AVI movie or QuickTime. I'm just using QuickTime for this one, but I normally use AVI. Um, now you can get rid of this because this annoys me. It adds like a new file in, so you can just choose one without the .tif in front of it. That's what I always do. I don't actually have to. Now go under anti-aliasing. Uh, you want to keep it at best. Uh, you want to keep it at best, but um, geometry is also, also makes it work faster because um, I know that the render time with best is 31 minutes, so yeah, it takes a bit of time. I'm gonna keep it with geometry for now. Uh, and then options, you have, you don't need to change anything here. Now you wanna go to effect, add ambient occlusion, and or global elimination. Now what these do is that they allow your plane or whatever to have like the glowing effect like the reflecting effect. So like if you look at the plane, this will take a long time to load because um, it actually adds like a bigger effect. Oh, oh I forgot a light. Uh -huh, okay. I'll, I'll fix the lighting later. But yeah basically what this does is that it adds that extra oomph that you want. But I would only prefer you to use this only if you're like putting this on TV or whatever. Like this makes it look really good, but it won't work for anything unless you have like a background. 
So actually, um, since that's a optional, I'm not gonna have it on because I want this to go as smoothly as possible. Because uh, reflection still works without this on. So now I'm going to what, what's next? Hmm. Okay, let's put it on the sky. So I'm gonna make a new material. Actually, just drag on to, on my thing. So I'm gonna use this. You wanna uh, go on your picture and change from MIP to none for sampling. Um, we're gonna go up here to plane because background just moves like with your camera. So I wanna get a plane, but uh, what happened? I can't, okay, there we go. Um, and I wanna really f extend this far so that um it covers a lot of my back. Oh, oh no, okay. Why doesn't this change? Back break it. I think I broke it. No. Um. Well, why doesn't this change? Is this okay? So. Hmm. What the hell? Okay, well that playing in my stuff. Let's add another one. I don't know what's wrong with these planes. Plane, roof. Roof. And then. Okay, when I fix this, I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I fixed that. I don't know what was wrong with it. Um, now I got this background and I put on my image for the, uh, background. So now if I render it, it will render out this, um, with the clock. But now this is. Uh, done without ambient occlusion or uh, what was the other one? Global illumination. You can have them both, but that'll just add a better effect. But it'll make it really long render time. Like I'm talking about hours. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. Also, I added a camera. So when I added this camera, um, basically, I set it that it follows the plane around like this, so that it kind of like pans around. Um, and then I believe I made the background move with it as well, but, yeah. So, let's go under, um, the camera and show you what happens. So when you press play, it comes around like this, and it looks at the thing. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, I made the background move to make it look like the plane's actually moving in space. So, yeah. Um... Next thing we want to do, like if you, if you also if you don't know how to make the camera, just go under light this light press and you go under camera, and then when you have it open, you just set keyframes of this button as you're going along to where you want it to go. So yeah, after you make the camera, um, you want to make your light. Now I'm gonna make first um a sky because this is after all a sky. Um, sunlight, oh, wait, no, was it sunlight or, hmm, it's gonna add, oh, yeah, like, I can get to the sunlight, hmm, let me just see, what does this look like, oh, well, that doesn't look good at all, but then, no, not, okay, but then, I, and I'm also gonna add a three-point lighting, which is one right here, Right here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do this because this is what worked before. You know what? It's all good. This is fine right now. So, right now, what our effects gonna come out to is gonna be like this. But make sure you don't add any lights for it because um, that'll ruin the effect. You just need like, you need a good light box or something to work with. But yeah, that's basically it. All you gotta do. Um, let me just sum up the steps again. You basically get your plane, put it in, choose your colors. Um, grab a background, put it on a plane, like a plane, um, and then fit it up there, and then animate your camera to come in, and also, uh, play around with those render settings. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm probably going to be spending the next half hour waiting for this to render, so let's get this over with, anyways. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.